Well, I imagine everybody is ready for another episode of this astounding, groundbreaking show, She-Hulk. As you can tell, the excitement is just pouring off me. I cannot get enough of this show. Uh, I really can't get enough of it. You know, it's, it's one of those shows where I just want it to die. That, that's really where I'm at with this show. We, we don't get Daredevil, Daredevil, by the way. They baited that the last episode so they would convince you to watch the next episode where all that happens is Jen goes to a wedding and then fucks a guy for a bowl of chips, essentially. That's essentially what it is. I'm not, I'm not making that up. She actually... Uh, yeah, it seems to be you buy her some fries and she'll be all over you. That seems to, seems to be the way it works with Jen. But other than that, wasted episode. Another wasted episode. What a fucking surprise. Uh, and they've even got the balls at the end of the episode to, to try and go, oh, this is what we've been leading to. It's like, fuck off. I'm not giving you that. Uh, that that's what they try to do. They try and say, oh, this is what the story's got. It's, it's like, you know, it's pointless. Y you're now six episodes in. Why are you bringing this up now? Dunno. Three episodes to go. And now they're like, now we're getting to the story. <laughs> Fucking embarrassing, pathetic. Absolutely pathetic, uh, the writers on this show. But should we just get into it anyway? Because, you know, fuck this show. Uh, but it all starts out when Jennifer gets invited to be a bridesmaid at a wedding. A wedding which we don't see, by the way. <laughs> they skip that part and just go straight to the, the little uh, reception. So she's been invited to to get this loads loads of that glitter stuff falls out of it. <laughs> you know, that's how funny it was. But she's going to be a bridesmaid. Wow. Uh, she's going on about a new shite. We still don't see her brand new suit either. We never seen that the last episode. Did, don't see it this episode. I you know I, I thought this was a Marvel show. Must be mistaken. Must be something else. Ah, oh, fucking hell. Her friends there again. Uh, she what? Yeah, she wanted to bring a, a business suit to a wedding. I don't know why. Uh, she said, yeah, and then Jennifer says the reason she's been invited to be a bridesmaid is because her old school friend feels compelled to or something like that. It feels obligated to do it. So that's why she's been chosen. Uh, to be a bridesmaid is just because a person, you know, generally, I don't think that's how it works. You don't go, oh, no, I feel obligated to make this person my bridesmaid. When we eventually meet the friend, it doesn't seem like they're friends. So I'm just, I just wonder what the fuck made, made this person want to pick Jennifer as a bridesmaid. They don't come across as friends. <sighs> You know, one thing I've noticed in this, sh especially with this episode, see, because there's more women in it. Uh, I just find it hilarious that throughout this entire show, because this show is supposed to be representation for women. <laughs> uh, and I'm just like, every woman in this show is a fucking bitch. Every woman you come across is an absolute asshole. And I'm like, this is how you want you want women to be perceived in this way. It's like, it's lucky that I'm an adult and I realise most women ain't like this. Just complete assholes at each other's throats all the time. Uh, that, that's what's funny, even funnier about it is if you remember the the most important scene in episode one when when Jennifer went into the bathroom and all the women in the bathroom they they all made her look like a whore so it would justify later on and out and outside of the bathroom for those guys to catcall her. That, that's that's the reason why that scene was there. But apparently it was the most important scene because women weren't catty in the bathroom. But then the rest of the series, especially this episode, it's been nothing but catty women going at each other. That's what I find funny about it. It's like, wh what are you trying to tell me here? See, see, to be honest, the only message I get from this show is, oh, I should hate women. That, that seems to be, is that, is that what the showrunners want me to do? Because that's how it comes across. When every woman you present is just a complete, you know, I, I got worse of words. But 
you you know what I mean. Just I I just find it hilarious that we can kind of talk about it more once we get to the absolute cattiness. So, where were we? Uh, Nikki says, "Oh well, you're well. What, we've only got a divorce case at work, so I'm going to get to know Mallory. I think that's her name. Uh, so, if you didn't know, Nikki is a lesbian. They they made that obvious." Uh, in one of the previous episodes, so she's thinking, I'll get a little vag off Mallory. So I'm, you know, I'm guessing that's what she wants. Uh, then we get, then we get ourselves a, a, a fourth wall break. Uh, where she says, I, I know you, I know you would think this is an inconvenient time in the season. Because weddings are incon, because because weddings are apparently inconvenient. You just get called up on one day and said, "You want to come to my wedding tomorrow?" That's how it works. There's not months and months of planning involved. <laughs> so how weddings are inconvenient, you know, in the sense of, oh, they just come out of nowhere. It's like no, it generally doesn't happen like that. Generally, there's months of planning. You're told in advance, but it seems like here she's just been invited that day, and it, and it's tomorrow. So it's like, why are we wasting time on a fucking wedding with fucking characters that don't matter? Why? Why are we wasting fucking time on this? Ah, oh, because the people working on it are fucking dog shit. That's why. Ah, oh, fucking hell! You've already got me ranting. Fuck it. Right, where are we going now? Oh, that's right. So now we're at the wedding. She comes as She-Hulk. Uh, they all say, you know, oh, oh, look at that ass and all that. So now they're objectifying women, but men aren't allowed to do it. Well, you know, I'm just confused. Uh, and then a uh, then a bitch friend is a bitch, by the way, just so you know. Just that that seems to be every woman in this show. Don't know why. I didn't write it. I didn't write it. That's all I can say about that. So she says a word. And they, they go and talk, and then she starts going, you're taking attention away from me on my wedding because you're She-Hulk. <sighs> that, that's basically that scene. But She-Hulk says, I want, I was looking forward to coming to She-Hulk. Uh, so then we get the title bits that says Just Jen. It, it really doesn't matter if you have Jen or She-Hulk because they're both wankers, so it makes no difference. Uh, then then you have them walking through. Jen is saying, everybody else has got a, gr uh, a groom, a groomsman. Where's my groomsman? Uh, yeah, and you'll, you'll never guess who a groomsman is. We'll, we'll get to it. it it's actually, it's actually, I'm, I feel quite sad about the, about the thing that is involved. Let's just say that. So they go through there. Now we're at the office and you have, they're dealing with this, divorce case where this guy has been married so many times he's called he calls himself Mr. Immortal because he can't die where the fuck all these all these I I don't know where all these super powered people are coming from they're just everywhere you, you now have people that are immortal you know whatever I guess it's just now commonplace for superpowers so yeah they're going through through this divorce or something uh, and, yeah, and rather like confront confront his his wives, like and says, you know, I don't want to be married to you anymore. He just kills himself, so he fakes his death. He has multiple like different identities and stuff like that. I I, I, I can't help but think there's there's there has to be more to this to this case. Then, if he's going about and faking his death, that is a, a crime, by the way. Just in case anybody didn't know. But it seems like, nah, they're not going to involve authorities or nothing. They, the, the police, are, they don't know fuck all about it, you see. Don't know why a guy fainting his death multiple times, yet, you know, he's he's in a in a lawyer's office trying to get them deal with his divorce so he doesn't lose all his money. But, yeah, no one seems to... I, I, I don't get it. I, I just thought, you know, you fake your death, usually you, you're gonna, that's a criminal offence. But I guess not. Uh, but, you know, we already know the writers on this show don't know fuck all about law. They don't know fuck all about it. So it makes no difference. 
Uh, and like we kind of get the message that, yes, he kills himself to get out of marriages, but they feel the need to keep saying it. It's like, listen, I know people writing this show are fucking retarded, but most of us aren't. So we don't need you to explain what we know. We get it. We get it. But no, everybody has to say what it is. Yeah, all right, fine. Um, then, then Nikki gets furious at that guy because he mansplains what immortal means. Oh no, what are we to do? Uh, so that happens. Then, then they start fucking... Yeah, they start like ripping into him. It's like, here, he's your client. Uh, I don't think you should be involved in your personal shit. He is paying you money to represent him. I don't know why he's here in the first place. Is this really the, the law firm you want? But he puts up with all their shit. Um, then they start going, nah, 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 nah. You, know, you know, you know how, how they do. Fucking hell. And then what happens after he's heard enough of their bullshit, like most of us, uh, he, he jumps out the window. Uh, and I, yeah, I couldn't help but think, I'm right there with you. As it was happening, I was looking for a fully loaded fucking gun to blow my, the back of my brains out. That's what I was looking for, because I'm not interested. You know, it was all that, yeah, 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 yeah. Fucking hell. Yeah, jump, you're better off jumping out the window, mate. Uh, I, I bet you, I bet you're wishing now that you weren't immortal. That's, that's all I can say to that. So he jumps on that. I, I just want to point that out as well because they they have another clip of him doing it uh, somewhere else, and it's like the same the same set. It's in the same place. So we'll keep an eye on that. So now we're back to Jennifer at a wedding. Her friend says, "Oh, have you got a boyfriend?" Um, <coughs> she says, "Oh, don't don't feel bad about it." And Jen says, "Oh, I don't feel bad. Yes, you do. You're gagging for it." We can all see it. <laughs> you just ain't got a lot of options because you're a bit of a twat. <coughs> so then she gets called called over by a friend saying, are you Team Edward or Team Jacob? What fucking women in their 30s are speaking about fucking Twilight? That's what I want to know. Who's, go who's still talking about, are you Team Edward or Team Jacob? And then apparently it turns out that she dated the two actors, apparently. So then T Titania shows up. Just randomly, she somehow knew Jennifer would be here. She has some guy that she's like a plus one. I'm like, yeah, that's very, very fucking convenient, isn't it? That she just so happens to know someone that's going to this. It's the art. Yeah, no, you don't know that. Sorry, doesn't work. So does anything? I, I haven't got that many notes to be honest, because you know not much happens. Um, now that that's it. Yeah, she, she comes in. Uh, Jennifer's like she's come here to annoy me. How does no one else see this? I'm just thinking. Will they? Will everyone here know about you know your sort of drama? I, I'm not too sure. Uh, but there's there's that scene, I guess. Then she sits outside by herself. Ugh. Then a man comes over and talks to her. And that that's about it. He says, "Oh, I wanted to speak to beautiful, you know, whatever. I I, I don't fucking give a shit." Uh, then her bitch friend comes out again, and says, "Oh, all the staff have left because of how I treated them." So she's been treating the staff like shit and then surprised that they left. It's it's like why why is every woman in this show like this? <laughs> Just absolute fucking self-entitled assholes. Every one of them. Now, I don't think there's one female character in this that isn't an asshole. I, I can't think of any. <sighs> so yeah, she comes out and then Jennifer agrees to to start tidying up and all that, because all the staff left. It's like, no. If the staff left, you know, it's a fucking loser. She really, you know, I, I would actually, see if they actually set Jennifer up in a, in a good way. 
had her in a good light from when we first met her. Uh, you know, I'd be able to feel sorry for her, but here I'm just like, nah, you're a fucking loser. Just, just do, do it. Do it. You're going to agree to it anyway, because you're fucking soft for whatever reason. So she's going to start tidying up. Uh, fucking idiot. So, and now, now we're at this sh fucking bullshit where he's got like, there's like about eight wives and he had a husband as well. Of course he did. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> So they, they all just start complaining about, you know, oh, fuck it. I, I don't know what the point in all this is. What is the point? I, I don't I don't really know why we're focusing focusing on on these characters. So I thought this was about She-Hulk. But we actually spend more time with these bozos than She-Hulk. Ah, oh, fucking hell. But yeah, they, they mention a website that comes up later called... What was it? Intelli intelligentsia or something like that. They say it's a site for hateful man babies. <laughs> so you can imagine in what way this comes up later on. Uh, it comes up contrived, very contrived. So they're still having a go at their client. I don't know, you should really lose your jobs. It's like, no, he's paying you money to... to to sort this out. Your fucking opinions on what he done has nothing to do with it. But, you know, they're not real lawyers. That is apparent. So, yeah, they say, you're gonna pay. It's like, no, you're his fucking lawyers! You're his lawyers! <laughs> uh, they don't know how law works, that's why. Don't know how it works. Never, never thought to do any research because they're lazy bastards. So, uh, we come back to this um, but yeah, that came up again about him faking his death multiple times, multiple identities. Uh, yeah, you, why? I don't know why the authorities ain't involved. Fucking hell. So then Jennifer rocks up in a in a bridesmaid dress. That that blonde woman there says, "I'm gonna I'm gonna make Jennifer uh, iron these iron these things." So they say, "Oh, can you? You're on the iron in Jennifer." She just agrees. It's like, why is this happening? I, I, do, I don't know why the people at the wedding are fuck. I don't know what she's... What? Why is she doing ironing? Fucking hell. It's just infuriating because it's like, what? what? What are we doing? Why have we got bridesmaids, uh, you know, people that have been invited to a wedding, ironing people's shit? Why? Fucking don't believe... Like, yeah, there's a fucking absolute court... It's bollocks. This this show does not work within the MCU. Doesn't work. Disregard it. Disregard it, because it doesn't work. Because it's just completely fucking... I, I, I don't know. I don't really know what to make of it. None of it makes sense. None of it seems... You know, it doesn't seem like, like the, the real world. It seems like some fucking... I, I don't know. But Thanos was right. That's what I fucking say. So now she's going to do... Uh, in fact, did I find that? Like the... Yeah, the one I've seen. If it just comes up, hurry up. So uh, as you remember, Jennifer doesn't yet has a, have a groomsman. <clears throat> uh, you're never... And a groomsman is, you know, someone I feel sorry for, for having to endure being in this bullshit. So that that's going to be... That, that's that's a groomsman, a dog, that just like looks like please fucking kill me so I don't have to act in this show. Just hand me back to my owners, hand me back to my owners. I, I mean, even his tongue's out and all that. He's like, uh, yeah, even this show is making him fucking dumb. You know, the amount of shows we come across at the moment where they have a dog in it, I'm just like, yeah, I feel sorry for the dog now. So that's going to be the be their groomsman because we now live in some fucking Pee Wee Herman Playhouse fucking world. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. So, yeah, you kind of feel sorry for the dog. So now they're back to this. And then they, yeah, they jump back to that. I, I don't know what happened in that. Um, no, that's pretty much that. Ched... Ched is at the wedding for some reason. He's a DJ at the wedding. Uh, th then she starts getting hammered. She's dancing and all that. Th 
Then we cut back to the lawyers, the fake lawyers. Uh, and, and f like, the paralegal is, is sorting all this mess out. And she's completely fucking, the, fucking her client over by giving out money like it's nothing. So why this guy is not just pissing out of the door, just go, nah, I'll see you later. See you later. You're clearly not who I want to represent me. It's like, no, you, you're fucking over your client that has paid money for you to solve his issue. And, and you're just like, oh, here, take his money. It's like, no, he, he said he didn't want that. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. So it's just, yeah, it's pretty much just, oh, well, men are shit. You know, that's pretty much what it is. So they're getting money and stuff. Then we go back. She tries to ring up Bruce. He doesn't answer. Because he's kind of, like, like me, he's fucking done with her. So then this guy comes over. Uh, she says something. Don't care. Don't fucking care. Nothing of importance. Uh, then Titania shows up. like as uh, Because Jennifer's pissed out her skull. Uh, she goes outside to be sick. Uh, hurry up. Why is this not going? Hurry up. Fucking get off your chair and fuck off outside. So, yeah, she's being sick. Why didn't you just go to the toilet? Dunno. And then she gets a whack to the face. Um, I don't, Yeah, I don't know. Titania wants to embarrass her or something like that. She wants to destroy her in front of everybody because she hope did it to her. So... Jen fails to turn as she hoped the first time. Then manages to get it the second time. She comes in here. The CGI is absolutely fucking atrocious. Absolutely atrocious. So they have that scrap for a bit. So there's your CGI there. Fucking dog shit. Then her friend comes in and going, Oh, I'm your fan. I'm your best fan or something like that. Changed her tune from earlier she didn't want her taking the attention now she's all happy about it but that's probably because she's pissed so I don't know then they, these two are sitting here and that Mallory is talking about oh I've got a son and a husband or what uh, yeah she's just married you know probably a lesbian let's be honest <laughs> it is it is current Marvel I'm not, I wouldn't be surprised so Nikki's a bit let down by that because she wants a bit of cooch. So, yeah, then, then they come across... What do they look at here? Uh, let us see. No, it's, yeah, they're looking at that guy's... Because there's videos of that guy, like, killing himself. And this is apparently supposed to be a different time. I believe they bring it up here. Let me see. So it's it's the same exact fucking shot out, outside the same fucking building. <laughs> uh, and it's yeah, he's getting off like a different way and all that as well. Uh, but what do you know? They, they just happen. Happen to come across this little uh, slutty She-Hulk page. Just so happened to. Uh, then they go to the proper the computer and then Nikki's writing in a load of information so they can log in. And she, like, in her bio bit, she writes, uh, uh, she was so gross, she was 30. She says, guys have said that about me online loads of times. Sure they have. And, and it's like, you can't fucking say nothing, Nikki. The amount of men you've called gross. Can't say nothing, can you, darling? So we'll, we'll go, we'll, we'll skim through the, these little web pages. So here you have it here. Hashtag cancel She-Hulk. Let, let's read them. She-Hulk should be cancelled. She discriminates against anyone who doesn't share her pathetic man-hating worldview. <laughs> if she were a man, she would be cancelled already. Uh, when you are Hulk, but you still dumb. So we've got memes and stuff as well. Someone just shoot She-Hulk. Why hasn't anyone already done this? It's not that complicated, bro. Kill the bitch already so we can move on. I'm sick of hearing about this bitch. <laughs> uh, they just so happened to come across this web page. It's just just on the on the little side tab. Uh, 
Then we get memes here. When you are Hulk but you're still dumb, wants a quality, still wants you to pay for dinner. Uh, I don't really see anything wrong with these memes. How do we swat She-Hulk? Do standard police weapons kill her? Can we just swat her and get rid of her? Eight reasons She-Hulk needs to die. The guy only gives one reason. Doesn't even give a reason. Just says, here are the top eight reasons She-Hulk needs to die. How do we kill She-Hulk? We need to get rid of her. <laughs> Does anyone know what can kill her? It's time to do something. All ideas and discussions welcome. Uh, what was that final? Let's try and get that final one. She-Hulk isn't even that strong. If She-Hulk and the real Hulk got into a fight, the Hulk would totally kick her butt, no questions asked. I don't know what I'd even do if I saw them fighting, though. I might have to get in the ring with the, with the uh, get in the ring with them and beat up She Hulk myself because she's not even strong. <laughs> oh, so they have they they have their little bit about incels, I guess. Uh, oh no, memes, memes. What should we do about memes? Because what is it they say now? Memes are I, I don't know. Memes are going to destroy democracy. There's something like that. They, they say that now. Fucking psychos. That's, that's who, who says that. Uh, well, I, I forget what they say. So that's essentially that. So she's getting death threats and all that. And then this, this dark music plays. I'm just like, calm the fuck down. It's memes. It's like, oh no, someone ripped something on a keyboard. That means they're totally going to do it. So... Uh, yeah, she says, oh, they're just trolls, Nikki. They're just trolls. If we ignore them, they go away. I find it funny, that, considering when it happens to Disney, they don't ignore it. They spread it all over the internet, so more people do it. So that's essentially that. But, yeah, I just found it funny. It's like they're looking at, like, memes shitting on She-Hulk. And it, you've got these, this dark music playing. It's, it's like, calm down. Calm down. <laughs> it's not that fucking bad. Jesus Christ. So Mallory says to Nikki, don't tell She-Hulk because you don't want that rattling inside her brain. It's like it's on some random fucking thing you just so magically came across. And you're worried about it. You're worried about something that doesn't even matter because it's, it's not even fucking... It's on some weird website you made up. And you only just luckily came across it. So then Nikki instantly jumps in the car and then leaves a voicemail for She-Hulk and says and like tells her about it. Because Nikki's such a great friend. Such a great friend. And then, oh look at looky here. This guy has bought she uh, has bought Jen chips. You know what that means? <laughs> all right, we all know what that means. Give her a give her a plate of chips. She'll suck you off. That, that's that's how it works. That's how it works, apparently. As we seen in episode four, where a guy bought some chips for her and she took him home and, and molested him. So, and then this is the part where they try and they try and make it as if they've been doing some sort of story the entire time. This is, of course, relating to I believe it was episode three, episode two or three. I forget now. I just I just forget about them. But episode two of three, when those guys tried to take her blood. So three episodes later, we're now bringing this back up again. Only got three episodes left. Only got three episodes left. No, do not bother. Do not bother. You're not getting a second season anyway, so fuck off. Don't bother. Don't bother trying to set something up now. It's too late. It's too late in the game. You're not getting a second season. We all know that's not happening because we all know nobody's watching this shit. I mean, even the first episode only started off with 1.5 million fucking people watching it <laughs> across five days. So, you know, I'm willing to bet it's down to about 500,000 viewers at the moment. But it's not get. We already know most of these Marvel shows. The only Marvel show so far that is getting a second season is Loki. That's it. And that, that was based on because it was the most watched Marvel show they had. But, but this, no one's watching it, so it's not getting a second season. Uh, what, what what an absolute waste of money. You know, not my money, so whatever. So they start bringing this in now, where it looks like they... I, I don't know exactly... 
I, I find it funny on this, like, this hardware here, that these. this is how the messages come up. It comes up like that, like a phone, does it? This looks, looks like fucking military-grade fucking hardware. And it just comes up. It's, a, it's the next phase of the plan, ready to go. So they have a guy putting... So they haven't got... I'm guessing they're going to try and get a blood again. I don't know. Uh, and that's the end of the episode. We don't get a we don't get a mid credit scene, which is good because they've all been shit so far. So that is it. They're now they're now after after six episodes, they're now trying to start this story. They've only got three three to go. Mm, I, I don't know how you're going to fit this in, really. I don't, I don't think you are. You you're not going to fit this in. I, I imagine what they're going to do is similar to what we've seen with Resident Evil, where they start setting up something for Season 2 to try and guilt trip people into giving them a Season 2 so they, they can use the old excuse, oh, but we haven't finished telling our story. That's that's probably what they're going to do, because I, I just can't believe that now, now, you're, you're trying to do this now. Fucking absolute... What, 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 what... The time that has been wasted. Wasted. It's like, that's why I'm just confused. Uh, no one could say, oh, well, it's just episode and episode. But no, 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 it's not. They they just wasted time, uh, shot their load. Oh, what, what an absolute pointless show. Absolute waste of time. It's going to be Daredevil next week. We know it's not eight and nine, so it's got to be next week. So we're probably not going to get back to this shit until the episode after that. Uh, but I think from what I've described, it's safe to say that Daredevil does not stand a chance. There's no way. There's no way when this is what the show is. <sighs> but I've got nothing left to say after that. I'm just glad to be fucking done with it. Uh, but yeah, I think this is the worst Marvel show. I, I, I don't think there's any competition. This is the worst one they've put out. Every single one of their shows has been absolute dog shit. Some of them may start off all right, but, you know, sure as shit, they fall off at the end uh, after a couple of episodes. But every single one overall has been absolute dog shit. And this is just the worst one because it's not even trying to do anything. It's not even trying. They're not trying. Fucking useless waste of space fucking writers that do not deserve a job in fucking Hollywood. I'll tell you that, but they, they seem to just want to hire these absolute incompetent weirdos that, yeah, they don't have a place fucking writing anything. But no, we're going to keep giving money to talentless fucking hacks. That's what we're going to do. Because that makes sense, guys. That makes sense to just give this off to people that are shit. We're not going to even attempt to get any talent in the door. That's because most people don't want to go to fucking Marvel. Because they know what they're fucking dealing with there. Oh, but let's finish off there. Because I have another show to review after this. It just does not end. Does not end. But this She-Hulk episode 6. Waste of time. Waste of money. Waste of everybody's time, really. Uh, but, yeah, I'm sure people love it. I'm sure they love it. I'm sure they do. I'm sure they absolutely love this show. You know, I just don't believe you. <laughs> 